So a while ago on Twitter, an iPhone hacker by the name of Conrad Kramer posted a tip on Twitter that showed how to enable panorama mode in iOS 5 for the camera app. And I'm going to show you how to do that right here. But first of all, I'm going to show off the panorama mode. Now, bear in mind, this is my first time using this, and I'm pretty terrible at using it. Uh, it's not the best looking implementation. It's kind of, uh, kind of, I don't, I wouldn't say it's difficult to use, but it's just not ideal to use in this circumstance, right? So close to the camera. I'm just trying to record this uh, or take a photo of the Steve Jobs biography in panorama mode. And again, it's it's a really terrible idea to do something this close, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway, just for the sake of showing you panorama mode in iOS 5. So all you do is hit the uh, camera button, the uh, shutter button, and then you just drag the phone from left to right, <laughs> sort of like that. And it takes, it stitches all the photos that it takes together. Um, and then creates one panoramic image, as you can see. Um, it didn't turn out as good as it should have, um, but you know, this is just a test. And uh, yeah, pretty terrible. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna try this one more time. Let me just give it one more shot here. So you just tap the shutter button on your camera, and then you see it light up blue, and then you just supposed to keep the arrow on the center line. I'm not very good at doing so. As you can see, <laughs> the arrow's not on the center line and my picture turns out just a disaster. But that's beside the point. My, my goal here is just to show you uh, that this does indeed work and I'm going to show you actually how to get panorama mode enabled right now. So I just opened up iFile. Of course you will need iFile to do this. Uh, go to var mobile library preferences and then you should see this com apple mobile slideshow p list just tap that and then you should see text viewer and property list viewer select property list viewer and you should see enable firebreak there now i'm just going to delete this because that's what you actually need to add uh, to enable panoramic mode so i'm going to show you walk you through adding firebreak here so just tap the plus button in the bottom right hand corner in the name field type enable and then firebreak make sure the uh, case sensitivity is noted or the case is noted because it is case sensitive and then choose boolean for the type and then create and then turn on enable firebreak just like that and then go back to your home screen respring your phone just like that and then unlock your phone go to your camera app just like this and tap the options button and then you should see panorama there so that's how you get panorama mode in iOS 5. Shout out to Conrad Kramer again for showing us how to do this on Twitter. Also shout out to Chapone, I guess that's how you pronounce your name. Um, he should be releasing Firebreak on the CDS store tomorrow so you don't have to actually go through this p-list editing and all that. So let me know what you guys think about panoramic mode in iOS 5. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.